Hello children, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. Have you ever watched the night sky? Have you ever watched the night sky? During night time, when you watch the sky, you can see number of stars in the sky, isn't it? Have you seen that? You have seen so many stars in the sky. You can also see moon over there. Sometimes we can see different shapes that are formed by group of stars. Sometimes they'll form a straight line. Sometimes they'll form some curved shapes. Have you ever noticed the shape of a bear in the sky? There are many shapes that are formed by group of stars in the sky. And behind each shape there are some stories. Today we are going to learn the story behind the shape of the bears formed by the stars in the sky. Are you ready to hear the story? Now I'll read the chapter for you children. The Great Bear and the Little Bear Once upon a time there lived a beautiful woman in Greece. Her name was Callisto. She had a son named Arcus. She was very happy looking after and playing with him. However, her happiness was not going to last. Many people were jealous of Callisto. They went to a goddess and said to her, Beautiful goddess, Callisto says she is more beautiful than you. The goddess was furious. She cursed Callisto and changed her into a bear. Callisto's hands and feet changed into paws with sharp claws. Her sweet voice became a savage growl. Her mouth was filled with terrible teeth and her delicate jaws became rough and powerful. The big black bear moved heavily towards her son Arcus. He screamed in terror. Then the beautiful wood fairies came and rushed away with Arcus. Callisto looked like a ferocious bear, but she was still gentle and loving. She was afraid of all bears and other wild animals. She ran away from hunters and their dogs too. At first, the bear would go to hut where her son lived with the wood fairies. She wanted to look at her son as he slept in his little bed. After some days, the bear could not go near the hut. Men and dogs wanted to kill her. So she went far away and hid herself in a thick forest. Days, weeks, months came and went away. The seasons changed. The bear lived alone and lonely. One winter night, she dreamt of Arcus. She longed to see him again. She decided to go and see him in spring. Spring came, the bear made the long journey to see her son. One evening, the bear was wandering in a wood. Suddenly, she saw a handsome young hunter. He was going to shoot an arrow at a bird sitting on a branch. It was Arcus, her son. The arrow missed its mark. The bird flew away. Suddenly, Arcus felt that someone was watching him. He turned and saw a huge black bear staring at him. He was afraid the bear would kill him. So he put an arrow in his bow to kill it. The bear was silent. It could not move. Then something happened which united mother and son forever. Jupiter, the father of Arcus, looked down from his palace. He was shocked at what he saw. His son was going to kill his mother, Callisto. Jupiter swept down, snatched Callisto, the huge black bear, and flung her into the night skies. Then he grabbed Arcus 
and flung him too into the darkness of the night sky. Arcas became a little bear next to his mother. The two bears changed into stars. Callisto is known as the great bear and Arcas is known as the little bear. If you look up at the night sky, you can see the shapes of the two bears outlined by stars. Now, I'll explain the chapter for you. The name of our chapter is The Great Bear and the Little Bear. The Great Bear and the Little Bear. The Great Bear and the Little Bear. So, what is the name of our chapter? The Great Bear and the Little Bear. Now, listen carefully. We are going to learn the chapter. So, we are going to learn Chapter 8, The Great Bear and the Little Bear. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful woman in Greece. Her name was Callisto. She had a son named Arcus. She was very happy looking after and playing with him. However, her happiness was not going to last. So, the story happens in Greece. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful woman in Greece. There lived a beautiful woman in Greece. Her name was Callisto. So we are learning Callisto's story. So what was her name? Callisto. Callisto was a beautiful woman. She had a son named Arcus. So what was her son's name? Arcus. So there lived a beautiful woman named Callisto in Greece. She had a son named Arcus. She was very happy looking after and playing with him. So she was leading a beautiful life. She loved to play with her son. However, her happiness was not going to last. She was very happy to spend time with her son, but her happiness was not going to last. Her happiness was going to end. Many people were jealous of Callisto. They went to a goddess and said to her, Beautiful goddess, Callisto says she is more beautiful than you. So, Callisto is very beautiful. She is a very beautiful woman. So many people were jealous to her. What is the meaning of jealous? Jealous. Look here children. Jealous. What is the meaning of jealous? Feeling angry. Feeling angry. Feeling angry or unhappy. Or unhappy. Feeling angry or unhappy. What is the meaning of jealous? Jealous means feeling angry or unhappy. So, many people were jealous to Callisto because she was very beautiful. Many people were jealous of Callisto. They went to a goddess and said to her, Beautiful goddess, Callisto says she is more beautiful than you. So, some people went to a goddess and they told Beautiful goddess, Callisto says that she is very beautiful than you. The goddess was furious. What is the meaning of furious? Look here children. F-U-R-I-O-U-S Furious means very angry. Very angry. So, the goddess was furious. That means the goddess was very angry. The goddess was 
very angry. She cursed Callisto and changed her into a bear. So the goddess was very angry and she made Callisto a bear. She changed Callisto into a bear. Callisto's hands and feet changed into paws and sharp claws. So now Callisto is no more a beautiful lady. She became a bear. Her beautiful hands changed into paws and her feet changed into sharp claws. So what is the meaning of paws and claws? Look here children. Paws means feet of animals that have claws. So what is the meaning of paws? Paws means have you seen the feet portion of animals? They will be having nails also. That feet portion is known as paws. What is the meaning of paws? Feet of animals that have claws. And what is the meaning of claws? Claws means sharp curved nails on the end of an animal or a bird's paw. So we know that paw means the feet of animal that have claws. The feet of the animal. And what is the meaning of claws? Claws are the sharp nails at the end of the paw of that animal. So Callisto was a beautiful lady and the goddess changed her into a bear. Her hands and feet became paws with claws. Did you understand children? Then what happened? Her sweet voice became a savage growl. She was having beautiful voice. Her sweet voice became savage growl. What is the meaning of savage growl? Look here. Savage means wild. Growl means a low angry sound made by animals. So what is the meaning of savage growl? It is a wild sound made by animals. So what happened to Callisto? Callisto was a beautiful lady but the goddess changed her into a bear. Now her hands and feet became paws with clothes and after that her voice became savage growl. Her voice became a savage growl. Her mouth was filled with terrible teeth and her delicate jaws became rough and powerful. So she was a beautiful lady. Now the goddess changed her into a bear. Her appearance changed completely. Now what happened? Her sweet voice became a savage growl. Her mouth was filled with terrible teeth and her jaws became rough and powerful. So now she became a bear and now she is not at all looking like a human being. She is having her hands and feet as paws with clothes. Her voice changed into savage growl. Then her mouth is filled with terrible teeth. Terrible means bad teeth. Her Teeth is not at all looking good as human beings. It is terrible. Her mouth is filled with terrible teeth and her delicate jaws became rough and powerful. What is jaw? Jaw. Jaw means or this portion. This portion became very rough and powerful. It was delicate before. Delicate means small and having a beautiful shape that was looking very nice before now she became a bear and what happened children it is very rough and powerful now so Callisto became a bear the big black bear moved heavily towards her son Arcus now Callisto is not a woman now she is a big bear so she is going to her son Arcus. She is going to see her son. The big black bear moved heavily towards her son Arcus. Arcus was afraid by seeing Callisto. He screamed in terror. 
Then the beautiful wood fairies came and rushed away with Arcus. Do you know what is fairies? Look here children. Fairies means small imaginary human beings with magical powers. So when Arcus ran away from Callisto, the fairies also came and disappeared. So what is the meaning of fairies? Fairies means small imaginary human beings with magical powers. So he screamed in terror. Then the beautiful wood fairies came and rushed away with Arcus. What is the meaning of rushed? Rushed. Look here. Rushed means completed hurriedly. So Callisto the bear was coming to Arcus. By seeing Callisto, Arcus was afraid. He screamed in terror and he ran away. The fairies also ran away with him. Callisto looked like a ferocious bear. Callisto looked like a ferocious bear, but she was still gentle and loving. What is the meaning of ferocious? Look here, children. Ferocious means cruel or violent. Even though Callisto looked like a cruel bear, she was still loving and gentle. Callisto looked like a ferocious bear, but she was still gentle and loving. She was afraid of all bears and other wild animals. She ran away from hunters and their dogs too. So Callisto, in her mind, she is a lady, but her appearance is like a bear. The goddess made her a bear. Callisto was very afraid of other bears. Whenever he saw the other bears, she ran away from them. At first, the bear would go to the hut where her son lived with the wood fairies. So, Callisto wanted to see her son. At first, the bear would go to the hut where her son lived with the wood fairies. So, where did Arcus live? Arcus lived in a hut with the wood fairies. Callisto wanted to go there and see her son. She wanted to look at her son as he slept in his little bed. There was a little bed in that hut. Callisto wanted to see her son. After some days, the bear could not go near the hut. What happened, children? She was not able to go to see her son. Men and dogs wanted to kill her. So she went far away and hid herself in a thick forest. She wanted to see her son. Her son is a small boy. She wanted to see him but she was not able to go and see her son. She wanted to look at her son as he slept in his little bed. There was a little bed in that hut. When the boy was sleeping on the bed, Callisto wanted to see him. After some days, the bear could not go near the hut. But after some days, what happened? Callisto was not able to go and see her son. Men and dogs want to kill her. She went far away and hit, her, hit herself in a thick forest. What happened? What happened children? Callisto wanted to see her son but there were some hunters and dogs who wanted to kill Callisto. So she was afraid and she was not able to see her son. She hid herself in a thick forest. Days, weeks, months, came and went away. The seasons changed. The bear lived alone and lonely. So Callisto is now a bear. She is not able to see her son. Now she is living in a thick forest alone. Nobody is there for her. She is alone. One winter night, she dreamt of Arcus. So one winter night, it was the winter season and she saw a dream. She dreamt of Arcus. She longed 
to see him again longed what is the meaning of longed longed look here children longed longed means wished wished for wished for something something very much very much so what happened callisto wished to see her son callisto longed to see her son that means wished for something very much callisto wanted to see her son so during the winter season she dreamt of arcus and she longed to see him again she wanted to see him again she wished to see him again she decided to go and see him in spring so she decided to go and see arcus during the spring season the bear made the long journey to see her son so she is going to see her son and what is the name of her son arcus callisto is going to see arcus one evening the bear was wandering in a wood what is the meaning of wandering wandering means moving slowly around wandering wandering means moving slowly moving slowly around what is the meaning of wandering children look here wandering means moving slowly around so during one evening the bear was wandering around he was wandering in a wood in forest suddenly she saw a handsome young hunter he was going to shoot an arrow at a bird sitting on a branch so callisto the bear saw a hunter so children one evening callisto the bear was wandering in a forest suddenly she saw a young handsome hunter who is the hunter do you know what is the meaning of hunter hunter means a person who hunts animals what is the meaning of hunter hunter is a person who hunts animals so callisto the bear was wandering in the forest and suddenly she saw a hunter who is a hunter a hunter is a person who hunts animals she saw a handsome young hunter he was going to shoot an arrow at a bird sitting on a branch it was arcus her son so callisto saw a young hunter and that was her son arcus he was going to shoot a bird that was sitting on a branch he was aiming at the bird the arrow missed its mark the bird flew away suddenly arcus felt that someone was watching him so callisto the bear was looking at her son and he was going to shoot a bird suddenly the arrow missed from its mark and what happened the bird flew away he was aiming a bird and the bird flew away then arcus realized that someone is looking at him so he understood that someone was watching him he turned and saw a huge black bear staring at him when he turned back he saw a big black bear who was that big black bear it was callisto so when he turned back he saw a big black bear staring at him what is the meaning of staring staring means look steadily she was just looking at arcus he was afraid the bear would kill him so he put an arrow in his bow to kill it the bear was silent it could not move so 
when Arcus turned back, he saw a big black bear was looking at him. He thought that the bear would kill him. And what happened? He put an arrow in his bow and he aimed to kill the bear. The bear was silent. It couldn't move. What happened, children? The bear was silent. Who was the bear? The bear was Callisto. Callisto was the bear. She came to see her son, but the son was afraid of her. He thought that the bear would kill him. He pointed an arrow towards the bear and he aimed to kill Callisto. And what happened, children? Callisto was silent. The bear was silent. It could not move. She was in an excitement that she saw her son, but when he pointed that arrow, Callisto the bear was silent. She could not move. Then something happened which united mother and son forever. Jupiter, the father of Arcus, looked down from his palace. He was shocked at what he saw. Suddenly, something happened. What happened, children? Callisto was standing steadily and Arcus was pointing at her. Arcus was going to kill her. Suddenly, Arcus' father, Jupiter, Jupiter was Arcus' father. He was seeing everything from his palace. He looked down from his palace. He was shocked at what he saw. He was shocked to see the sight. What was the sight? Arcus was going to kill his mother. His son was going to kill his mother. Jupiter was shocked to see this sight and he realized that something is going to happen. He was very much worried about this incident that is going to happen. Arcus was going to kill his mother. Then something happened which united mother and son forever. What is the meaning of united? Look here children. United means joined together. Suddenly something happened that joined mother and son forever. Jupiter, the father of Arcus, looked down from his palace. So who was Jupiter? Jupiter was the father of Arcus. He was seeing everything from his palace. He looked down from his palace and he saw that Arcus was going to kill his mother. He was shocked at what he saw. Jupiter was shocked to see the sight. His son was going to kill his mother, Callisto. Jupiter swept down, snatched Callisto, the huge black bear, and flung her into the night skies. What happened? Jupiter came down. Jupiter snatched her. What is the meaning of snatched? Snatched means took something quickly. Jupiter snatched Callisto. That means Jupiter took Callisto quickly. Then what happened children? Then he flung her into the night sky. What is the meaning of flung? Threw somebody or something with great force. Jupiter came down. Then he took Callisto quickly. Then he flung her into the night sky. What is the meaning of flung? Threw somebody or something with great force. He threw Callisto with great force into the night sky. Did you understand children? Then what happened? Callisto, the huge bear, is now in the sky. Then he grabbed Arcus and flung him too into the darkness of the night sky. Then what happened? Jupiter then snatched Arcus. Who was Arcus? Jupiter's son. First of all, Jupiter snatched Callisto and threw her into the night sky. Then what happened? He snatched Arcus, his son, and he flung him too into the night sky. He flung him also into the night sky. Arcus became a little bear next to his mother. So now 
Two of them are in the night sky. Callisto is a big bear and Arcus is a small bear. Now both of them are in the night sky. The two bears changed into stars. Then what happened? They both changed into stars. Callisto is known as the great bear and Arcus is known as the little bear. So what was the name of our chapter? The great bear and the little bear. Now who is the great bear? Callisto is the great bear and Arcus is the little bear. If you look up the night sky, you can see the shapes of the two bears outlined by stars. So, in the beginning of the story, I have asked you, have you ever looked into the night sky? You can see the big bear and the little bear. Did you understand children? Did you understand the story? Now, we are going to do an activity. Now, look here children, we are going to do the comprehension part. Circle A or B for the correct answer. See the first one. What are the great bear and the little bear? They are bears, they are stars. Can you tell me the answer? What are the great bear and the little bear? They are bears, they are stars. So what is the answer? They are stars. So we can circle it. Now see the second one. Who was Callisto? Can you tell me the answer? Who was Callisto? Callisto was a beautiful woman. She was a beautiful woman. So we'll write here. She was a beautiful woman. We can circle it. Now see the next one. The father of Arcus was a bear Jupiter. Who was Arcus' father? The father of Arcus was Jupiter. Now see the fourth one. What did the goddess do? She cursed Callisto and changed her into a bear. She cursed Callisto and changed her into a wolf. So what is the answer? What did the goddess do? She cursed Callisto and change her into a bear. So we'll circle it. Did you understand children? So we did the comprehension part. Now you have a homework. You have to read the chapter two times and send me the video of your reading exercise. Also you have to write all the word meanings in your notebooks and also learn them. Then you have to circle these answers in your textbook itself. Once you do this homework, take a photograph and upload it in school WhatsApp group. See you in next class. Thank you children.